hi thanks for stopping by this is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. in this little video series I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it all the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now let's get started in this video we're going to have a look at top stitching and under stitching. In the first part of the video we're going to have a look at the top stitching and later the under stitching. So the top stitching is always done on the right side of the fabric and it's usually sewn along a seam, neckline or edge. It can be decorative or part of the construction. So here on my doll clothes and on my handbag it's done as part of the construction to tack down the seam allowance in the back and to make everything a little bit more sturdy. Here when sewing down the bias tape it can be done with a decorative stitch, so with a contrasting thread. And here on the jeans, you can see the contrasting thread. It's usually done with a thicker thread. And then you also need a special top stitch needle because it has a larger eye. And it is a lot easier to thread the needle with a thicker top stitching thread. So we're starting off with a regular seam. And then we're opening the fabric. And we are pressing the seam allowance to one side of the fabric. And then we are going to top stitch on the right side of the fabric to secure the seam allowance in the back. As you can see, the seam allowance in the back is folded to one side and I'm just pressing it here from the top. And then we're going to top stitch along here. I'm using a larger stitch length. It's usually a three to four millimeter stitch length. And then I'm top stitching along here to secure the seam allowance in the back, as you can see. And this is called a top stitch. Now, under stitching means sewing onto a seam allowance to anchor or keep the facing or lining in place. This is mainly done in pockets or along necklines or when you're sewing collars. This is done so that the facing does not have any seams on the outside and you can conveniently hide the stitching on the inside of the garment. So I'm just sewing my seam here on my little pretend pocket or neck line on a garment. And then it would be time to clip the curve a little bit, but I didn't do that right now. So I'm folding over the seam allowance to the facing, or I'm folding the facing over the seam allowance. And I could press that in place, or I'm just sewing it down. As you can see, the seam allowance is pressed towards the right side, and the lining is lying on top of it so now I'm top stitching along here which is called under stitching and I'm there for sewing the facing onto the seam allowance and now you can see the seam here on the seam allowance and there is no seam on the outside and now I'm just trimming the extra fabric off so it'll be easier to turn the fabric under to fold the lining inside. And as you can see, there is no seam sewing on the outside, showing on the outside. So this will make for a really nice neckline or pocket. And we can only see the seam on the inside where we sewed it to the seam allowance. Isn't that so clever? I'm really glad my viewers asked this question to show the understitching. And here I am pretending that this is a, a pocket or maybe a nice neck of a beautiful garment. And in the next video, we're having a look at how we can gather fabric either on an overlocker machine or a regu regular sewing machine. I hope I see you then again.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.